morning, everybody. Happy Tuesday. I believe it's Tuesday, 7-Eleven. <laughs> I always like that. The 7-Eleven reminds me of the old 7-Elevens <laughs> store. Anyway, so I'm here, and um, the first thing I opened up to uh, is my Sarah Young book, but it also led me to Isaiah 55. And um, I'm going to tell you, start out with a funny story, because we had a, a ladies group um, years ago through New Life, and this girl, I don't remember her last name, her first name was Joy, and she was, you know, ap appropriately named, she was a real funny girl, and um, we were studying the scriptures and stuff during the meeting and everything, and we got to Isaiah 55, and it says, and she, we were all single women, you know, and it says, Isaiah 55, <clears throat> it says, for you shall go out with joy, <laughs> I said, you know, you need to, she's, always, you know, single people, you're always looking for partners, you know, and stuff. And, and so we realized that, um, she could go around and tell these guys, you know, this is mandatory. <laughs> the Lord says you shall go out with joy. <laughs> you know, it's, it's in the Bible. It's in the book. And so anyway, we just got stupid, you know, how you can get silly. So we got silly, but anyway, um, I'm looking at 55. And like I said, I'm speaking, always speaking to the choir, but you know, just something just hit me today. And that is that when you look in the old, I've got my Bible that has a reference to the New Testament, you know, in the, in the little corners and the columns and stuff, you know. And I'm just in Isaiah 55, but I'm telling you, you can go to any of them. And in Isaiah 55, it refers to 1 John 4, 14, and, and it refers to Revelation 3, 18, Matthew 11, 28. Ephesians 2, 11, 13. This is just the book. This is just chapter 55. So, and you know, we, I guess we forget. I don't know, you know, but it's so the Old Testament when we're going through, you know, breaking bread as we're going through, um, we're, we're at Deuteronomy right now. And as we go through, you know, the whole purpose is to see Christ through all this, you know, because he's, He's so there, you know, he's he's just there. And it just hit me again today, so I yellowed out. You can see my Bible. I yellowed out all the references to, to Jesus, you know, just in Isaiah 55 alone. And um, <clears throat> I like Isaiah, I like all the chapters I, I go on, <laughs> you know. But anyway, in Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy, I, th I keep thinking we're going to get out of the wilderness, and we haven't gotten out of the wilderness yet, you know, but it's a recap of the first four books of the Bible, which is great. You know, I mean, we're at the end of the school year, you know, I just think, and you know how the teachers say, okay, let's recap, because although breaking bread, we're not going to have any tests, you know. But but anyway, it's a recap, which is great. And so, um, but one of the things they talk about is how, um, in one of the scriptures in there, I can't remember which one, but it says, I'm an invisible God, I came not in any image of man. I did not come in an image of a, a bird or an animal. Um, a, a, no creeping thing. Nothing I came in no image of anything on the earth. And and it says not even to look at the, and don't even look at the heavens looking for me because um, I'm an invisible God and you worship me in this in your spirit and it was so that back then because they would make idols you know if they um if they saw god as a bird you know they had a bird they would make a bronze bird or an animal they had a calf and they would make idols and and literally believe that these idols you know like this this jar of oil you know was gonna forgive their sins you know whatever or cause the rain to come you know i mean they they did these weird things like this. And so I think they're weird. But I think back in my childhood, you know, I didn't, I wasn't churched. Didn't know anything about Jesus and whatever, you know. And, but this is in the 50s, 60s. And um, <clears throat> think of the silly things that we had. One of the things that occurred to me was we had a rabbit's foot. I mean, that was a real popular thing in the day. And you had a, you put it on a little chain and you hung it from your purse. You know, it was a rabbit foot. It's supposed to bring you good luck. <laughs> And and then we had uh, a Ouija board. I mean, I had friends that would take that Ouija board and just move it all over the place and literally spell out. It was spooky, you know, really spell out whatever we were asking it to say, you know, and do and stuff. It was it was bizarre. 
And um, and also back then, I had a lot of Catholic friends. I wasn't church, but the ones that were, were Catholic that I knew. And everything was in Latin, so they didn't know Jesus, you know, because they were told not to read the Bible, you know, and they had this book called, this class is called Catechism, but I don't, they, they still weren't taught the Bible. They didn't know much about Jesus. And so, anyway, I'm looking at my Sarah Young, and it says here, Current idols are more subtle than ancient ones because today's false gods are often outside the field of religion. Hmm. They're people, possessions, and self-aggrandizement. I can't say that word. And some are most popular deities today. In other words, selves. So be, beware of bowing down before these things. False gods never satisfy. Instead, they stir up lust for more and more, you know. <laughs> uh <clears throat> Sometimes I get in the habit of watching a show. One of the things I like to watch is Project Runway. And because I love to sew and I love to see their creations and stuff. But they're, you know, the people on there, they, they're gay and they start kissing. Their, I mean, you know, they talk about getting married and stuff. And I, oh, Lord, you know, <laughs> I just want to watch sewing stuff, you know. And then you watch Hallmark. You think you're going to a nice show called Hallmark, you know, and all these pretty sceneries and stuff and these beautiful people and it's just nice and easy to watch and stuff, but then they start marrying, women start marrying women, and, and it just gets stupid. And so, um, <clears throat> you know, we have uh, idols today that people aren't making, well, maybe some of them are some of these worshipers, false worshipers, but, you know, most of the time our idols are, and I can binge watch, you know, because I want to binge watch Project Runway, you know, but because I can get focused on it. And Sometimes if we're going the wrong direction, you know, we'll get um, <clears throat> what we call addicted. You know, we can easily get addicted to the wrong stuff. So, <clears throat> anyway, um, go out with joy. <laughs> you know, if you don't know anybody named Joy, <laughs> just know that, you know, if we stick with the Lord and uh, we just do what He what, what pleases Him and and, of course, we need to study and find out what pleases him. And then we can go out with joy <laughs> in, a, in a spiritual way. So I'm going to end up with the, uh, I was shopping around for pens and pencils the other day. And I found a little one that says, be kind. <laughs> Got a little bee on it. <laughs> I'm silly. I love you guys. Jesus loves you so much more. Hey, I'll see you later. Bye.